this could have been different. Fisker could have rocked Tesla the way the 1990 Lexus LS forced Mercedes to up its game. Competition drives innovation, but with the Model Y, Tesla swats away rivals by slashing prices and forcing the market to follow. At this point, the discounted Model Y blurs the line between mainstream and luxury, leading us to wonder, can anyone shake Tesla's market dominance? That brings us to the Fisker Ocean, an electric SUV bursting with original ideas. Taco trays and a cool California mode only scratch the surface on the ocean's potential. While Fisker fights for its life and slashes prices by up to $24,000 on existing inventory of 2023 oceans, the company is currently no threat to anyone. In this comparison of the Fisker Ocean and the Tesla Model Y, we're putting that aside to see how much the newcomer can teach one of the most popular SUVs on the planet. We try to compare the Tesla Model Y to everything we can within reason. The electric SUV's global success is staggering, even as the automaker manages a bloated inventory. We've matched it against the Hyundai Ioniq 5, our 2023 SUV of the year. It's also battled the Ford Mustang Mach-E and Chevrolet Blazer EV, the latter our 2024 SUV of the year. We even compared the Model Y against the new Model 3 Highland, a sedan that sees updates Tesla hasn't yet applied to the SUV. The Fisker Ocean rolls onto the scene with a best-in-class EPA-rated 360-mile range and style to spare. Consider its proportions. The Fisker is only one inch longer than the Tesla but nearly eight inches wider. Even though the two electric SUV's heights are virtually identical, walking around the Fisker creates a different mood. Both test SUVs have dual-motor AWD setups, are built by brands once written off as a joke, and have as tested prices hovering around $69,000, just $431 apart. Except that isn't completely true. With Fisker's current financial issues potentially scaring away buyers, the company has its own inventory bloat to deal with. The brand is offering staggering discounts on existing inventory of the high-end extreme trim, $24,000 off as of publication. That sounds like the deal of a lifetime before you realize a six-year basic warranty is only as good as the company backing it, and it's not clear where this automaker will be at the end of 2024. And to be clear, we want all innovative automakers to survive. Fisker beats Tesla on range, but not charging. The Fisker starts strong, demolishing the Tesla in Motor Trend's road trip range test, which tracks how far you can drive an EV using 95% of a fully charged battery at a constant 70 miles per hour. From a 360-mile EPA range, the Ocean Extreme manages 292 miles in this test. That's impressive for an SUV rolling on 22s versus our Model Y long range's 19s. With the Model Y, range tumbles from the EPA's 330 miles to just 229, a bigger drop that suggests 330 miles to a charge will only happen with careful driving and conditions that perfectly match the EPA's 55% city slash 45% highway driving testing procedure. Charging is another story. In our tests, the Tesla added 118 miles of range after 15 minutes of fast charging and 176 after a half hour. Fisker managed 114 miles after 15 minutes and 200 after 30 minutes. Not bad considering its peak observed charge speed was 167 kilowatts, slower than the 254 kilowatts we saw with the Tesla. The TLDR version? Both SUVs are fine, but the Model Y includes access to Tesla's easy-to-use and widespread supercharger network today. The Fisker can use other fast-charging networks, of course, but won't provide adapters for select supercharger stations until 2025. The real issue here isn't fast charging speeds or even the startling noise the ocean makes when you've reached your fast charging stopping point. No, it's the fact the Fisker home charges at a slow 6.6 kW rate to the Tesla's 11.5 kW max. Trust us, 6.6 kilowatts is behind the curve for a new EV sold in 2024. Put another way, Fisker says it'll take 18 hours to go from 0 to 100% charge with home charging. That's not great. If you come home late one night and plug in your Fisker, you shouldn't have to wonder whether it'll be ready the next morning. That brings us to another problem we had with our ocean tester. Tiny state of charge losses overnight. Consistently, the Fisker lost about 1% of its total charge each night. Phantom drain is a problem we saw on our year-long Rivian test truck as well. 
If we don't drive a car for a few days, we don't want to find it has 12 fewer miles of range than before, regardless of whether said car takes gas or electricity. Improving this was part of Fisker's latest software update, Ocean OS 2.0, installed on our test SUV, but it seems more progress can still be made. That's not something we want to deal with on a road trip or in our day-to-day -day lives. So, although the Fisker Superior Montana road trip range is great, Tesla's advantages, quicker home charging and supercharger access today, are hard to ignore. Tesla Model Y versus Fisker Ocean. Which is better? The Fisker Ocean is not one or two OTA updates away from winning this comparison. Bugs aside, other head-scratchers and unknowns remain like the subpar quality of the rear camera display at night, the lack of individual tire pressure readouts at each tire, or the way this SUV lacks an eight-way power driver's seat. Only six ways of power adjustment to find an ideal seating position don't meet expectations of a $40,000 SUV, let alone one above $60,000. To be sure, the Tesla isn't perfect, but it's a 2024 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, and has a more established dealer network that makes test drives and servicing far easier. That elevates the Tesla above the Fisker before considering the latter company's current troubles. On the Fisker, we appreciate the innovations, both made and attempted, but we're not sure if buying an Ocean now is an adventurous choice so much as a careless one. The verdict. When a company is fighting for its life and headlines link it to the possibility of bankruptcy, it's tough to recommend. But Tesla made it through that moment as well as production hell to become the established automaker it is today. The Model Y doesn't win by default. The Ocean simply isn't ready yet. This is no David and Goliath matchup, no Lexus LS against Mercedes in the early 90s. We hope Fisker will let us know if and when other models are ready for us. Until then, should other excellent mainstream choices not appeal, head to Tesla.